Well, a final report is still being drafted, but some Bahamians are preparing to secure a stake in what many anticipate will be a lucrative marijuana industry here in the Bahamas. Makush Lapinder takes a closer look. The government has not yet given the nod to the whole issue of decriminalizing marijuana, but a group of Bahamians out there are ensuring they're not left out if and when that industry gets off the ground. After all, to cite the commission's preliminary report, the economic benefits of a legalized industry have proven quite substantial for a number of states in the U.S. For instance, monthly sales are estimated at roughly $24.2 million. Well, according to co-chair of the Marijuana Commission, Commission Quinn McCartney, some Bahamians have already forged international partnerships, particularly with Canada. McCartney stresses, though, that the local industry be heavily regulated. Based on discussions with persons who are, are involved in the industry and who have some knowledge of the industry, the recommendation is that you know, we have fertile land all throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, and so it's recommended that uh, there may be growing sites. One of the things, too, is if we look at the industrial hemp industry, which is different from the medical or the recreational use, if, if, if that's the direction the government takes, is that they have to be separated by quite a distance because the hemp industry or the marijuana plants used in the hemp industry, they, ha it has a lot, they have a loyal content of tetrahydrocannabinol or the THC. But the problem is that that strain is very dominant. So if it's too close to the ones that are use being used for medical marijuana, that could contaminate and then overtake the production of the type that is best for medical marijuana. And so the idea is it may be that they have to zone certain islands. So certain islands, if we go al along the industrial hemp route, certain islands are used stri strictly for growth of that type of plant as opposed to those that will be used for medical use. The commission will next conduct a survey canvassing the views of a cross-section of Bahamians throughout the country. It's unfortunate that Abaco and Grand Bahama may not have the population centers that they had prior to Dorian. Uh, but we still believe that there are sufficient persons on those island who, islands who may be able to give us some feedback and share their views. So we want to hear from everyone, the old, the young, the middle aged, whatever. So just to get an idea, the feel for what Bahamians think about this issue. It is hoped that that data is collected between four and six weeks. The information compiled will be analyzed, and if all goes as planned, the Commission's looking to hand over a comprehensive report to the government within the next several months. Reporting for the ZNS News Network, I'm Makush Lopender.